total fumarectomy as a permanent method of tubal ligation was described by Croner in 1935. In 1996, he reported 200 fumarectomies without a single failure. This is an ideal method of tubal ligation when the sterilization is done through the vaginal that is colpotomy route. The technical minutiae of this method are as follows. A suture of non-absorbable material is anchored in the mesosalpings and placed around the fallopian tube in the distal ampulla as shown here. A second permanent suture may be placed adjacent to the first one and the infundibular of the tube along with femoria is excised. Ligation and hemostasis are accomplished simultaneously. This is the appearance of the tube following excision of the entire distal segment. The simplicity with which this excisional procedure is performed on the distal portion of the tube accounted for its early popularity, especially when sterilization was being performed through a colpotomy incision. A point to be noted is that while this method is generally used if vaginal approach is attempted, the Croner femorectomy should not be used regardless of surgical approach due to high failure rates and availability of more effective alternatives. Sterilization by femorectomy has been thought to be totally irreversible. However, today using modern surgical tubal reconstruction methods, a new ostium can be created by transverse salpingostomy and a cuff eversion technique. The ideal candidate for femorectomy reversal must have tubal remnant of 8 cm or longer, an ampullary width of 1 cm or greater, presence of rugal patterns on X-ray film, and minimal peritubal adhesions. Successful reversal was associated with protrusions of the endosalpics to form neofimria. Studies have reported a tubal patency rate of 83% and an intrauterine pregnancy rate of 44% with microsurgical reversal technique in expert hands. If you want to know more about different methods of female sterilization, please read my popular book Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology.